Welcome to the Nalini Kids One Word Workout. Every exercise uses one word to help you strengthen your mind and your body. In each exercise, think of three things. The one word, your form, and your posture. Okay, have fun. Calm, pleasantly free, peaceful, and not disturbed. Calm, let's connect to feeling calm, swan arms. Start with your feet, hip width distance apart and parallel. Stand tall, opening the chest. Roll your shoulders down your back. Have your arms long down by your sides. Flip your palms and as you breathe in, circle your arms out and up, connecting your hands at the top. Flip your palms and then as you breathe out, lower your hands down by your sides. We're going to do five more of those. And remember, breath is a great way to connect to feeling calm. If you want, you can close your eyes for this exercise. Let's go. Big breath in, circle the arms out and up, palms touch at the top, standing tall. Flip the palms, circle your arms back down as you breathe out. Inhale, arms reach up, belly in. Flip the palms, circle the arms back down. Number three, reach your arms out and up. Palms connect. Flip the palms, circle your arms back down, breathing out. Number four, big inhale as you reach all the way up. Exhale, circle the arms back down. One more, big breath in, circling your arms out and up, standing nice and tall. Exhale, arms circle back down. And then stay here for a moment, taking big breaths in and out through your nose. Then flutter your eyes open. That was calm. Fearless, lacking fear or concern. Let's connect to fearless with a warrior hold. Find your posture, draw your head up and press your heels down. Now step your feet wide apart, really wide. Go on the right side, turn your right toes to the right and bend your right knee. Now make sure that your left toes are pointing forward and your right knee is directly over your right heel. Reach your arms long, engage your abs, pull your shoulder blades down your back. We'll stay here for 20 seconds. Draw your fingers further apart from each other like stretching through a rubber band. Listen to your breath. Feel fearless in the amount of space you're taking up. Here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, keep holding. Four, press down through the heels and straighten the right leg. Now we'll turn the right toes in and find the other side. Turn the left toes to the left, bend your knee. This time make sure the right toes are pointing forward and the left knee is over the left heel. Reach your arms long and we'll start our 20 seconds here. Press down through the heels, pull the shoulder blades down the back. Reach your fingers further apart from each other and pull your head up through the ceiling. Almost there. It's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, that's it. Two, one, straighten your leg and heel toe your feet in together. Place your hands on your hips and feel fearless. Confidence. Belief in oneself and one's powers 
or abilities. Self-confidence, self-reliance. Let's connect to confidence with a plank position. You're gonna turn around. First, I want you to put your hands firmly on the chair. Get a nice tight grip, grip with confidence. You're gonna step back. Your feet are gonna be hip width apart, heels up. Now, make sure that the weight of your body is on your hands. If you don't do that, you can push the chair forward and we don't want that. Now, I want you to squeeze the glutes, tighten the abs, and hold this position. So you want to form a straight line with your body from the crown of your head all the way down to your heels. Very good. Now, we're going to go 10 leg lifts on the left side. I'm going to demonstrate one leg lift so you can see the correct form. Up, down. Now let's do 10 on the left. Up, down, up, down. Here's three, four, five, six. Very good. Keep those abs tight. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Don't put that foot back down. We're going to do a five second hold now. Five, four, three, two, one. Down with the foot. Now, right side. One, two, three. Very good. Keep that position. Here's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't forget about that five second hold. Five, four, three, two, one. You're going to place your foot right back down on the floor. Now you're going to give me a 10 second hold in the plank position. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That was confidence with a plank position. Aware. Having knowledge. Conscious. Cognizant. Let's connect to aware with tricep dips. You really have to be aware in this exercise to make sure that it's your triceps doing the work. Have a seat in your chair and find your hands on either side. Now slide your hips forward and lean your shoulders back. Let's do one together. Bend your elbows and make sure they point back toward the center of your chair. Then straighten your arms. We'll do 10 fast, 10 super fast, and then 10 fast again. Let's go. Lower down for one and two. Good, keep going. Three, are you aware? Four, of your elbows pointing back. Five, that's it. Six, keep the shoulders down the back. Seven, eight, almost done. Nine, and this is 10. Pause here for a moment, reset your pose. Maybe the hips go forward a little bit and the shoulders go further back. Let's go super fast. Here it is. It's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, that's it. 2, 1. Pause just for a sec. Now we'll go fast. Here it is at 1 and 2 and 3. That's it. Make sure 4, the elbows keep pointing back. 5, 6. Engage your abs. 7, 8, Nine, last one, 10, hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Sit back and feel the awareness in your arms. Solution, a means of solving a problem or dealing with a difficult situation. Let's connect a solution with a simple neck stretch. Sometimes, the solution to our biggest problems can be found by letting go of some of the tension that we hold in our bodies. First, start with your posture. Press down through your heels and pull up through your head. Now, interlace your fingers and place your hands behind your head. 
Reach your elbows wide apart and pull your chin down toward your chest. Now, draw your elbows in toward your nose. Imagine a rubber band from the tips of your shoulders all the way up through the back of your head. Can you lengthen the rubber band just a little bit and still keep your posture? Press down through the heels and stretch the rubber band pulling the elbows down and forward and the shoulder blades down and back. Take one breath. Now keep your posture the same and turn your chin down toward the right side. Take one breath here, then trace the circle on the ring of your shirt coming back to center and go to the other side. Return to center and put your head back on straight. Release your fingers. Now let's find side to side. Place your right hand on the left side of your head and draw your ear down toward your shoulder. Find that rubber band now from your left fingertips up through the left side of your head. Can you pull down to the ground a little bit more with your left fingers and pull your ear down toward your shoulder a little bit more. Take one breath. Now keep everything the same and point your nose down toward your armpit. Then slowly release. Let's find the other side. Place your left hand on the right side of your head. Send your ear down toward your shoulder. And imagine that rubber band coming to the other side now, reaching the right fingers down and your left ear a little bit more down toward your shoulder. Take one breath here. Now turn your nose down toward the ground. Keep your posture. Then slowly release. We'll find one more stretch here. Press down through the heels, pull up through the head. Now tilt your chin up toward the ceiling, opening the front of your neck. Return back to center. You've found the solution. Imagine, form a mental image or concept of to believe something unreal or untrue to exist. Let's connect to feeling imagine with a drum jog. All right, so the first thing I want you to do, this is a fun one. So feet shoulder width apart. I want you to squat down, push your hips back, chest up. You bring your arms across your chest and I'm going to give you one just so you can see what we're doing. So you're going to do that. All right, we're gonna do it for 30 seconds. All right, take a deep, big breath, and three, two, one, we're going. I want you to imagine that your floor is your drum set and your feet are your drumsticks. Keep it up, nice, very good, looking good. Keep it up, keep it up, 15 more seconds. You can do it, nice. Very good, staying on the balls of your feet. Five more seconds, we're almost home. We can do it, we can do it. 30 seconds, good job. As you can see, you're pretty, pretty winded. That was great. That's Imagine with a drum jog. Commit to pledge or engage oneself. Commit. V position. This is a tough exercise, so you're going to have to commit. First step, find a chair or a table that you can use for balance. Grab onto the edge of the chair, bring your heels together, toes are apart. Your heels are going to stay glued together throughout this entire exercise. Bend your knees. Lift your heels off the ground about one inch. From here, open up the chest, lean back. 
Drop your tailbone and squeeze your belly. We're going to do two counts down and two counts up 10 times. Ready? Here we go. Down, down, up and up. Down, two, up and up. Lean back, three, down, up and up. Four, down, up and up. Five, down, up and up. Halfway there, six, down, up and up. Heels together, seven, down, up and up. Eight, down, up and up. Two more, nine, down, up and up. 10, down and stay here for a second. Open up the chest, lean back, heels are together. Tailbone is dropping down. We're gonna do single counts now, ready? Down, up, two and up, three and up, four and up, five and up, shaking's okay, six and up, seven and up, eight and up, two more, nine and up, 10 and up and stay here, hold, open up the chest, we're gonna do pulses now, are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10 and then hold here for a second, reach your arms way up high to the sky, keep those heels lifted in five, four, three, two and one. <sighs> that is commit. Dedication. The quality of being dedicated or committed to a task or purpose. Let's connect to feeling dedication, a clam hold. You're going to have a seat on your chair and we're going to commit and dedicate all our focus to our core workout. Two different options. If you're feeling like your back might hurt, you're not as strong, you're just going to lift your legs up a little bit. If you're feeling more advanced here, you're going to lean back and hold this for one minute. Two sets of 30 seconds. Go ahead. Place your hand on the top of your chair and the bottom of your chair. Feel comfortable. Lean back. Bring your legs up. Pull in. Hold right here. 30 seconds. Now can you pull your abs in tighter? Feel your core. Shoulders back and down. Can you lean back a little bit more? Make it harder by pulling your legs out more. Hold steady. Abs are in. Breathe. You got this. You can adjust if you need to, dedicate your breath, dedicate your focus. 10 more seconds left, that's it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Great job, take a quick little break. All right, on this next one, I want you to challenge it a little bit more. Maybe take your legs out further, maybe lean back more. 30 seconds, on the count of three, one. Lean back, two, bring those legs up, three. 30 seconds, hold, pull in, shoulders down. Abs and shaking a little bit is normal. Make sure that your thighs are glued together. There's that energy between your thighs, your legs and your abs right now. Shoulders down, can you lean back more? Can you extend your legs out further? 10 more seconds, nine, eight, seven, dedicate, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, you did it. Power. Great or marked ability to do or act. Strength. Might. Force. Let's connect to power with jump squats. With this movement, you'll really feel the power in your whole body. Start with your feet wider than hips width distance apart. Make sure your toes are pointing forward. Lower your hips down and send your arms into the ready position. Okay, let's try one together. Jump up, reach into the ceiling, and then come back down. Make sure again that your feet land in the same position that we took off from. We're gonna do 20 all together. We'll start in three, two, one. This is one, and land, and two, keep going. Three, that's it, and four, sit down. Five, reach for the ceiling with six, and seven, keep going. Eight, almost there, nine, and 10. Counting down from 10, that's it. Nine, and eight, and seven, you got it. Six, five, four, three, squeeze your abs. Two, and one, hold here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, almost there. Six, five, four, three, 
two, one, and stand up. That's power. Success, the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. Let's connect to success. Calf raises. It's all about rising up to your goal. Stand with your feet hips width apart and parallel. You can bring your arms up to the side for an added challenge or keep them down. Go ahead, lift up your chest. You're going to raise the heels up and down as high as possible. Go up one and down to 20. Two. Feel your calves do this. Up three and down. Abs in four. Arms up a bit higher. Five and down. Up even higher. Six and down. Up seven. Head is up. Up eight and lower. Lift up nine and down. Up ten. Second set of ten. Up one and lower. Up two. Super straight legs. Up three and down. Up four and lower. Up five. Strengthen those calves. Up six and down. Up seven. Reach through your fingertips. Up eight and and down, two more, nine, lower, one more, up and down. All right, second set, we have three sets, by the way. Heels together, toes apart, lift up the chest again. All right, 20 times, rising up, go up one, and down. Up two and down. Up three and lower. Chest lifted. Four and down. Find your posture. Five. Up, lower. Six and down. Up seven and lower. Lift up. Eight and down. Up nine. Lower. Lifting up. Ten. Second set of ten. One. Drop down. Up two and lower. Feel that burn. Up three and down. Up four. Keep those arms up. Up five. Fight for it. Lift up. Six. Feel that success. Up seven. You're reaching this goal. Eight and lower. Two more, nine, down, one more, up and down. All right, last set. You're going to turn your toes in, heels apart. Lift up the chest again. Find that posture 20 times. Let's go, one and down. Up two and down. Up three and lower. Raise those heels, four and down. Up five, arms up. Up six and down. Up seven, don't get lazy here. Up higher, eight and down. Up nine, lower. Up ten, second set of ten. One, drop down. Abs in two, lower. Up three. Keep that neck long. Up four and down. Up five. Lower. Six and down. Almost there. Seven. Three more and then success. Eight and down. Nine. One more. Up and down. Great job. Total success. Freedom. The absence of or release from ties or obligations. Let's connect to feeling freedom with a core stretch. First thing I want you to do, bring your fingers together, interlace. Now you're going to take your hands above your head, sitting nice and tall, chest up. You're really reaching for the ceiling. Now you're going to bend right. Feel that nice stretch on the left side of your body. Very good. You're still, you're still sitting nice and tall with your arms all the way up to the ceiling. Now you're going to bend left. Now you're going to feel that stretch on the right side of your body. You feel it? Good. Now you're coming back to the center and now you're going to give me that arch. So you're just bending back. You can bring your chin up in the air. You're still sitting nice and tall. Come back to center. Release the arms. That was freedom with a core stretch.